Peace Dancers, Dancers by, by Roy Henry Vickers and Robert Budd. Flip, Flip the, the page, page when you hear the bell. bell. This story comes from my village of Kit Kala on the north coast of British Columbia. All of our knowledge was passed through stories, songs, and dances. This story is as old as the tide that rises and falls on the shore. Yet the lesson taught may be more important than they were thousands of years ago. One day many years ago, children were playing in the village learning to be good warriors and hunters. While many of the adults were out on the water fishing for salmon, the elders were in their homes weaving, singing near warmth of the warmth of home fires. The seas were calm and the sounds of children playing were carried across the water. It was a beautiful spring morning. The children decided to make a trap. A boy brought a bentwood cedar storage box that an artist had made. A girl brought a small stick that she found lying on amidst the kelp on the beach. The children worked together trying a cedar box string to the stick. One of the boys ran home and grabbed some bread to put on the ground close to some bushes. The cedar box was placed carefully over the bread. The stick with the string helped held up the box so that a quick tug on the string would cause the box to fall and trap whatever came along to eat. The children hid behind the bushes and holding the string in silence. The children watched and waited. They, they were learning the patience of hunters. Eventually a crow came along saw the bread and carefully looked around for any sign of danger. The young hunters were very quiet and still, and the crow did not notice them. When, they, when the crow decided it was safe and the bread would be its meal, it stepped under the box, swish! The kids pulled the string, and the box dropped on top of the crow, a successful trapping. <coughs> The children should have set the crow free. Instead, they tied a string to its foot so it could not get away they, and pulled feathers from its wings. When they saw it could still fly, they pulled the crow back and removed more feathers. Before long, the ground was covered with feathers. The crow could no longer fly. The children were not taught. We must respect all life. The skies darkened as the clouds suddenly gathered overhead. The spring breeze from the west, we call Guka, changed to Haiwas, which means southeast wind. Southeast wind always brings the storm and rain. The calm seas turned choppy. The fishermen pulled in their nets before the waves got too big for the small fishing canoes. The rain came. The Simpson people of Kit Katla are used to the rain. The name Simpson actually means in the rain. Many days of wet weather are normal for those in, born in the rain, but this storm did not stop. Day after day, week after week, the storm continued. Waves crashed onto the shore and pounced the village. Then came the floodwaters. The waters kept coming up and up, the co covering the beaches, and soon it would seep into the houses. The people realized this storm was not going to stop. Water kept rising, and the people of the village were afraid. The people realized that they could no longer stay in their homes. Everyone in the village got into their biggest canoes and had to paddle to higher grounds. <coughs> the canoes were thrown this way and that the, in the stormy seas, the waters were rising swiftly, but the canoes made it to the tall mountain not far from Kikatla. The people carefully dropped their anchors down to the mountaintops and was now underwater. They passed ropes from canoe to canoe, holding them all together. 
The strong people bailed the water out of the canoes as the rain kept falling. The old people were crying and praying to the chief of heavens. They said, please have mercy on us. Bring back peace to the world. Please make the storm stop. But the storm did not stop. Finally, one of the elders fell asleep. When she woke up, she declared to the others, I had a vision. I see I returned home. We have really lost our way. We have not taught our children love and respect. The Creator was angry with our behavior. Then the people prayed and promised the chief of heavens they would return the law of the ancestors, the law of love and respect. As the rains continued to pour, the chief of heavens looked down at all the birds and saw they could not land anywhere. The eagles, crows, lagoon, geese, horns, hawks, woodpecks, grouse, and many other birds were flying around and bumping into each other. Their feathers were falling into the ocean. The chief of heaven said, There is no reason for the animals to suffer because of the people have lost their way. I have heard the people praying and promised they, that they will change, so I will bring peace back to the world. The chief of heavens felt love and compassion, and the storm ended and the wind stopped. As the sun broke through the clouds, the floodwaters went down and fresh grasses Flowers and berries began to grow. The birds and animals made new homes. All earth was happy. The The people were humble and thankful for their lesson they had learned. After months of hard work, they rebuilt their village. They returned the laws of their ancestors, and to this day, the mountains were their anchor, their canoes, and still called Anchor Mountain. After village life resumed, there was a meeting of the elders and chiefs. They decided that a special song and dance would be performed at Potlatches to remind the people of the need for respect and love. A chief who had the gift of healing was chosen to be a peace dancer. The peace dancer shakes out eagle down to remind everybody of the waters that covered the earth when birds were, feathers were falling to the sea. The end.